Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I'm really excited to have a visual artist on the podcast. And one of his works, The Glorification of Insignificance, is like mind blowing. I don't want to give you any spoilers, I'd rather have him explain it. So, thank you so much, Abdal Bukhari, for being here. Thank and you for having me. <laughs> can we like jump into your work? Sure. So my uh, so I'm a miniature artist, a visual artist. So basically, painting, sculpting, and usme then my work is on based on collections. So for the past eight and a half years, I've been collecting mundane items uh, for you know my own self. You know, for example, lighters, ash, uh, cigarette butts. Um, tags, clothing tags, um, stones, etc. I've got multiple sorts of uh, collections. I have eight, eight, nine collections. A few of them I made it into a body of work, which was this and that I showed you, and I titled it Glorification of Insignificance. So, this is my concept. Tha, wo ye tha ke, um, we go to our wardrobe every day to pick a piece of artwork to wear. You know, like casual, formal, shalwar kameez, whatever. And we buy that product for the sake of a brand. I mean, like a car or an outfit. But what do we do uh, the first thing after we buy that product? We throw away the tag. We rip off the tag and throw it away. Why? Kya us brand ki identification kya tag pe nahi hai? Did someone not spend time enough making that tag, designing it, drawing the artwork? printing it, pasted it onto the clothes and we bought it for the sake of that brand. So there was a time back in the 80s when Rayman's glasses came and it was a little tag on it for the sake of its, you know, uh, importance. And why is it that the brand that we take so much shock, the first thing is that we rip the tag and rip it. Is it not worth value? Like it shows your brand, it shows artwork on it and can it not be considered as a artwork itself? Se I started collecting them and started making a collage out of them. Now, because I was in art sale, shock work, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, and I started to post them onto my cupboard. So, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, Slowly, once I joined my um, degree in NCA, so I was like, I was like, I was like, I then realized that you know, I have this habit of doing this. I looked into it, then there was this sort of uh, disease being called hoarding. That, you know, you just collect <laughs> trash and you don't throw away. Mujhe us, when I got to that point, I realized that my work wasn't that. I wasn't collecting just trash, I was collecting some of it, very selective of it, in which I saw value, see, the ones I saw as value. So why is trash unvaluable? So I did this and so tags just clicked here, so I converted them into paintings. I made a publication book, which I have tags ko photographed, I have scanned them, I have given every one of my comments, that it's an entire book of, you know, collections of this kind of tags, ki developments, so even brands ki people ki developments are looking on those tags. Pe. And then I have one line of comments, that what they seem to me. So many tags ko, then I took one of my tags and converted it into a character. And then made an animation on it, which just me, I have seen journey the journey from a dustbin to a tag heaven. So, what the tag heaven is basically, if you remember, one of the pieces was a cupboard. So, I designed and sculpted a cupboard for my tags, just me, I have made tags ko origami, karke chote origami clothing, banake uske the place kar diya. The same value that we give our clothes by hanging them in our cupboard, I gave the same value to my tags and made a cupboard for them and hanged them in my Prada ka hang hua hai, Chinese brand ka jab pika hua cupboard me as if jaise wo asal cupboard ho. So that is for me like the glorified amount ke maine ek tag. Ko ek heaven type jaga pe usno value karke preserve karke rakhti hai. In the animation, what I do is ke I show that tag's journey from the dustbin, like it comes alive in the dustbin, it climbs its way out, and then it crosses like a whole desert and sea and sari hustle kar karke, then finally ends up at a place. Yaha wo, he climbs this pedestal and goes and places himself into the cupboard folded as a piece of clothing. So this animation made me like, uh, ki thi, abhi I'm gonna upload it soon. Like I displayed it on my thesis, but I haven't got my own channel yet. So I'm not Soundtrack and sorry production. It's a stop motion animation. I've done it myself. 
उसके अलावा आई मेड कैटलॉग ऑफ दो टैग्स जिसमें मैंने उनकी इनको लाइन इस तरह किया हुआ है कि आपको उसमें उनकी ग्रोथ नजर आती है उन टैग्स की सो आई हैव रफली आई थिंक दे वर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी समथिंग टैग्स मेरे जो कलेक्ट हुए हैं इन द पास्ट एट ईयर्स सिमिलरली वन ऑफ माई अदर कलेक्शन वॉज लाइटर्स सो लाइटर क्या है इन योर ओपिनियन वॉट इज इट It's basically just a device that you use to like, I don't know, light a fire or light your cigarette. Exactly, light fire. So it's basically an invention. You know, fire is what caused humans to evolve. आज हम इतनी technology में अगर बैठे हैं तो वो आग की वजह से है. And आपको इतनी readily available a fire and वो lighter आपको हाथ में वो एक invention. If you look back to your you know Stone Age की people and they were you used to be like wishing for fire to exist or वो उनको किस तरह उनके लिए वैल्यूबल थी उस हिसाब ने टुडे इट इज जस्ट इन आर हैंड एंड व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग यू डू आफ्टर लाइटर फिनिशेस द इन्वेंशन दैट होल्ड्स द फायर यू इमीडिएटली थ्रो इट अवे व्हाई रिफिल नहीं हो सकता व्हाई इज इट दैट पीपल थ्रो इट अवे ठीक है ना मैं यू वॉक अराउंड आपको जमीन पे कई दफा नजर आ रहा था सो मेनी लाइटर्स दैट लिटरली कुड बी रिफिल्ड सच अ ह्यूज इन्वेंशन बट जस्ट बिकॉज वो कॉमन हो गई है जस्ट बिकॉज इट्स सो रेडली अवेलेबल सो इट हैज लॉस्ट इट्स वैल्यू बिकॉज यू यूज्ड एंड अब्यूज्ड इट नाउ so once I started collecting them I and I started collecting them because मुझे so <laughs> once I moved uh, 11 years ago into my home तो I lacked a studio space so there was this washroom जो मेरा है I don't use it I've turned it into a studio so basically मेरे friends भी आते हैं तो वो वहीं बैठते हैं it's no longer a washroom it has everything active and all but nobody uses it it's like a sofas भी हैं उसमें बैठने की जगह भी है मतलब ना छोटा सा है तो it's not that big like eight feet का भी नहीं है and but ye ek everybody exists there so that's like my studio space i sit there i work there main sara kaam bhi wahan karta hu wahan ka maine ek ye cheez rakhi thi ki every lighter that finished in that studio main wo rakh leta tha kisi ka bhi jo hota tha theek hai na kisi ne use nahi karna i would just keep their lighters once i started keeping them mujhe realize hua ki each lighter had its own story to tell like unke upar स्क्रैचेस थे उनके ऊपर यू नो खत्म किस तरह हुआ टूटा हुआ है या जल गया है या क्रैक्स पड़े हुए हैं तो यू नो इट्स दैट मेन मी वंडर के हाउ मेनी पॉकेट्स इज दिस लेटर बिन किस किस के हाथ से गुजरा किस किस ने इसको इस्तेमाल किया किस किस ने किस वजह से ये यूज़ किया होगा कहाँ कहाँ ये यूज हुआ देट आर सो मैनी स्टोरीज टू टेल येट वी डोंट इवन सी दैम सो वट एट इट वॉज क्या आई फोटोग्राफ दैम इन हाई रेजोल्यूशन एंड मैंने उनको उन फोटोग्राफ्स को पोलराइड मैनर बिकॉज दैट इज़ अ विंटेज मैनर ऑफ ग्लोरीफाइंग फोटोग्राफ्स को ग्लोरीफाइड आजकल पोलराइड एग्जिस्ट ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ इट्स एस्थेटिक पुराना वक्त में वो दैट वॉज अ एरा ऑफ फोटोग्राफ्स बींग फिजिकल अब तो सारा कुछ डिजिटल है सो मैंने उस एरा को रिप्रजेंट करते हुए मैंने अपने लाइटर की फोटोग्राफ्स को ग्लोरीफाई किया कि पोलराइड्स में मैंने एक आई थिंक इट वॉज 8 by 14 का बोर्ड के ऊपर आई प्लेस ऑल दोस्ट ऑल राइट लाइटर्स इन अ मैनर कि आपको उसमें हाई आर्ट की नजर आएगी उसकी उसके अंदर कॉन्वर्सेशन नजर आएगी उसके बाद वंस यू गो देर तो यू वुड दो लाइटर एक्चुअली स्पोक टू बिकॉज देवर पीपल जो मेरे पास एक मतलब मेरे डिस्प्ले पे दे वॉज दिस चाचा बहुत बूढ़ा सा बंदा कमेंट वो भी मेरे पास आके कहते हैं बच्चे मैं भी कलेक्ट करता हूँ लाइटर्स इस मुझे भी बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं मुझे समझ नहीं आती क्यों Like so, there was like a little layman who could relate and resonate with the work, and that was like an achievement for me. That you know, like he didn't. I mean, I'm sure that he didn't have any education. He was a carpenter type, busy guy. And if he could relate with his art, then I mean, that was my aim. That this this can be you know valuable if you look at it. And that you know valuable if you look at it. एंड उसी उन्हीं लाइटर्स को मैंने फिर नीचे भी प्लेस किया था विच वॉज इग्नोरेबल इनफ सो माई थीज डिस्प्ले इट सेल्फ वॉज एन लाइक अ कलेक्टिव जर्नी इन टू वॉट वी ऑन अ डेली बेसिस ट्रीट ट्रीट थिंग्स एज के वॉट इज वैल्यूबल एंड वॉट इज नॉट ठीक है इसी तरह मैंने एक पीस बनाया था जिसमें एटो का खाडी का टैग एंड आई एम श्योर यू सी इन एट एक ब्लैक सा टैग है जिसके अंदर एक गोल्ड सा पैच बना होता है Yeah. मैंने उसको वसली के ऊपर विच इज समथिंग वैल्यूबल फॉर आर्स मिनियचर पेंटर्स के वसली इज लाइक पेपर दैट वी मेक आर सेल्स एंड इट्स लाइक रियली वैल्यूबल तो उसके ऊपर मैंने गोल्ड वर्क से उसको ना पैटर्न को कंप्लीट करके आई टर्न इट इनटू लाइक अ पेंटिंग व्हिच लुक्ड लाइक अ खाना काबा सो द डिफरेंस वॉज के वन इन माई स्पेस जब कोई भी बंदा आता है मैं पूछता हूँ वट इज इट इमीडिएटली वो नो खाडी का टैग मैंने कहा एंड विद जस्ट वन कॉमेंट द वैल्यू फॉर दिस पेंटिंग वो चेंज सो आई वुड टेन डज दिस नॉट लुक लाइक खाना काबा 
and then everybody would be like, oh, it does look like Khan Kaaba ke. When can now, for a religious person, he's not going to turn his back to that painting. He won't keep it on the ground because now it represents Khan Kaaba. But just a second ago, it was a khadi attack which was also picked up in the dustbin. So my question of, uh, basically my body of work is a question for everyone. How do we define what is valuable, what is not? What is the criteria for, you know, something being valuable in the entirety of the universe? Are we not just a little speck of dust? Like if you look at the universe, Kainat, ko dekhte, usme to, how is it that what thing can be given value and what cannot? So my work was taking these trashable things and realizing that they still can be used. It's only a matter of perspective. How you look into it and how you don't. And that's what I personally really loved about your work. It's about things that are such an integral part of our life, yet because they're um, so accessible, you ignore them and exactly. you dismiss them. And people don't realize that, like you mentioned, like we ourselves, the human race is so inconsequential in this universe, <laughs> yet we um, like hold ourselves to the standard but we can't do that for everything else that uh, might seem insignificant yet uh, in itself has great value. Exactly. See, uh, this is it. And the fun thing is that everyone low-key understands this. But since then nobody talks about it, so it's not a reason for conversation. And my work was that why is this not a reason for conversation? Insignificant word itself is contradictory the word like you're getting giving value to the insignificant thing by calling it insignificant so value there so why is it that we insignificant things to value need is like that's my point in itself that choti little things matter everything matters it's all about and interestingly so many uh aunties come and say that we also take the clothes and take the tags 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 and take if you liked them and if they're good, like you like the artwork on the stack, so why can't you just place them on the wall and make it look nice for yourself? If wouldn't it give you happiness? So like you're building your criteria based on how people will judge it, not on how what you like and what you don't. So my conversation and then auntie was like, ha, my auntie, because she was really interested in one of my paintings, she wanted to buy it. My auntie, usme bhi to wo center mein tag hi laga hai. Like there, were, there was this outfitist ka tag, just there was very um, vintage wo renaissance type ke na, set of drawing uh, wo letters wo it, likhe wo it, that was it. And there was this two, uh, three, wo pool jo bane ho te, wo ke thi. I just grew them outside, wo usi se aage, wo hi patterns ko bas mein aage badhata gaya. And since obviously wo miniature mein bana wa tha, to then and wo ab, Pool hai, to, you know, it's kind of a liking for people to see, especially um, ladies or aunties, they So, I was that to they tell me that we go to Sunday Bazaar, we get two or three things, we get together, so it becomes a nice thing. So, my point was that you can use trash too, just think on it and it can. I guess that's, why, that's where the saying, one man's, one man's trash, trash is another man's, man's treasure, treasure came from. Funny thing, I think that actually uh, like got stuck with me. My mom used to tell, tell me that when I'm little, so it's not that you have ADMs that you tell your mom, you have to get into it. I think Loki has all this stuff, which is why my work is like this. So that ADM is precisely what my work is about. And I feel like um, every artist to a certain degree, they do pro like project um, like their inner thoughts through oh, their definitely. art. Definitely. Art cannot be true art if it's not coming from within you. Like every artist who is successful or whatever they do, they do their own thing, whatever they're bothered by society and the era. That is why artists are very, uh, you know, valuable to each era. They are the ones who document it. What happens in that time? It's the artist who documents what's going on. In our time, in my opinion, in my opinion, branding is a very huge element. And my work was about that. One of my collections you see was Alper's K empty boxes. Have you seen this yeah, red saw, square I boxes? So I have over 1500 Alper's K empty boxes. 
जिसके साथ मैंने जिनको मैंने कैंडल स्टैंड्स बना के बेचा है मैंने उनका लैंप बना के बेच दिया है मैंने उनका सिर्फ एज ए डेकोरेशन पीस बना के भी बेच दिया हुआ है ठीक है ना एंड स्पेंडिंग ओनली थर्टी रुपीज़ ऑन इट बाई यूजिंग प्लास्टर प्लास्टर का मोल्ड निकाल है एंड उसको जस्ट ट्रीट कर दिया अपने हिसाब से एंड एफ सोल्ड दैम फॉर टू थाउजेंड अबाव सो आई मीन एंड वो खाली जो बॉक्स पड़ा हुआ था मेरी इंस्टॉलेशन पे तो इट वॉज मैं जिससे भी पूछता मैंने वॉट इज इट क्रैश्ड ऑल पुट्स के डब्बे ठीक है ना लाइक हाउ इज इट क्रैश उसके अंदर थोड़ी तीस रुपए लगा दो उस पर एंड वो नाउ यू कैन सेल इट फॉर टू थाउजेंड रुपीज आई मीन इज एंड दैट बैफलिंग इन इट सेल्फ अब डिड यू सी दैट इंस्टॉलेशन जो वो एक ब्लैक पेंटिंग के सामने वो बोला वो दैट वॉज इट एंड दैट उसके ऊपर मैंने सिर्फ ये किया था कि मैंने वर्क लगा दिया था मैं साइड पर इसको ट्रीट कर दिया था बस एंड वो ग्लोरीफाई उसी चीज़ को तो अब ऑलपस के पीछे अब ये चीज़ थी कि एट फर्स्ट मैंने स्टार्ट करेक्टर ने मुझे ये था कि अच्छा आई लाइक द सिलेंड्रिकल शेप ऑफ इट एंड रेड कलर रेड इज़ माई फेवरेट कलर सो बट देन आई रियलाइज कि दैट वॉज एंड दी एसेंस बिहाइंड वाई आई वॉज कलेक्टिंग दैम दी एसेंस वॉज इन दिल्फ के आज कल दूध की भी एक जब वन यू यूज इट इट वॉज मिल्क दैट वॉज वैल्यूबल ना वॉज इट रेडी इट वॉज द ब्रांडेड मिल्क दैट वॉज वैल्यूबल वहाँ पे ठीक है वॉज यू यूज द मिल्क तो वो ब्रांड बचा होता है आपको आजकल एक सोसाइटी में ये चीज़ें आ गई हुई हैं कि यू नो यू प्रेफर पैकेज मिल्क ओवर यू नो ओपन मिल्क फॉर द डिजीज वट एवर रीजन ठीक है ना एंड यू हैव दिस यू रियलाइज के ऑन अ ब्रॉडर परस्पेक्टिव हाउ टू डेज इन टू डेज वर्ल्ड वी आर बींग मोल्ड इन यू नो स्कल्पटेड इन टू अर वेरी पर्टिकुलर माइंड सेट दैट एवरीबडी इज बिलीविंग हाउ द ब्रांड्स आर necessary and part of you whereas I mean whereas आप वहीं पर comparison में कई दफ़ा product को value देते हो मगर then only because of the brand that is my reason for work मैं ये conversation ignite करना चाहता हूँ कि you just think about how we are being influenced by today's era and how these are the issues of today's era के we on a slow key we are being conditioned in a specific way with that we grow up I feel like because it's such a difficult discussion uh, discussing our spending habits in particular and how we don't value quality itself we value the brand for example a recently um like Nestle released this um I I think it was a circular or a press release where they mentioned that a lot of our dairy products aren't uh safe for consumption mm. like they um uh, because like although we do try and uh preserve it the best we can at the at the end of the day um like preservation methods only work to a certain extent yeah, exactly. yet we will still sell it because of the preservatives and everything it seems fine and uh, it's going to like it's going to go ahead and be <laughs> exactly. sold because it hasn't been expired yet okay. yet um uh, like we as people we're not going to really look into that in fact most people probably haven't even read this press release and they'll just buy it because like nestle at the quality at you <laughs> exactly like, that you know? exactly that and you see that we was recently i just came across this documentary waha uh, abroad ki thi yahan pe i think america mein kisi ne ye documentation kiya ki they are literally selling stuff with saying no sugar and once you look at the back of it uspe nazar aa raha hai 29% sugar yeah and ke uh, zero calories on it piche agar aap uski details likh lo usme likha hua hai and then ke uh, with ke uh, kehte hain vitamin e extracts aur piche dekho vitamin e 0% like false branding on the same box like samne bada bada wo likha hua hai piche asal sach baat hai so you know you're you're kind of like saving yourself from a lawsuit but you know you're also fake projecting so that people buy it because they're like getting aware about self consciousness and health like over oh, which is like how contradictory this on a loki is so exactly can i say ki bhi cheez hum bas isse na khareed lenge to wohi cheez hai ki why not like actually give value to what we do on a daily basis matlab choti choti cheeze bahut sada farak leke aa sakte hain aapke bare mein like main apne perspective mein ye baat kahun to i never never thought ki jab wo tag maine sambhala tha it will turn into an animation in to an entire uh, short film now it is something valuable like people see it like so mazi ki baat hai my niece loves it she loves watching it cuz it's like a cartoon to her so wo watch box dekh rahe hain specifically mujhe ispe kafi wo recognition mili us animation ki wajah se i think that is what got me my you know marks that i got so and i feel like um like consumerism and commercialism really brings out and marketing in general really brings out how um like 
low key narcissists we are because yeah. marketing itself is like <laughs> uh, i'm like you have to scream it at the, uh, like at the top of your lungs that i'm the best so are you really like exactly. are you really that self assured whereas uh, <laughs> everyone else is like just agreeing with them because like they are internally just as hollow एग्जैक्टली yeah, सी exactly. वही पता नहीं इट्स लाइक कैंड लाइक प्रोजेक्शन ऑन अ डेली बेसिस मतलब आपको वो नजर भी नहीं आ रही होती और हर तरफ से एवरीबडी इज प्रोजेक्टिंग ऑन सेल्फ सो आई कम्प्लीटली एग्री विद यू लाइक दैट्स अ वेरी नाइस प्रोस्पेक्ट लाइक यू यू गेट माई पॉइंट लाइक ये कॉन्वर्सेशन स्ट्राइक हो गई है सो पीपल कुड एक्चुअली थिंक ऑन इट लिटल एंड यू नो रियलाइज के हो क्या रहा है असल में सो बट इट इज अ वेरी अनकम्फर्टेबल डिस्कशन बिकॉज इट वुड मीन We unlearning a lot of bad behavior, relearning a lot of things, and questioning almost everything we've done so far. Precisely that. मेरे हिसाब में यही है कि I completely agree with the fact now this is a completely new era. We are still going by the educational or the growth terms that were made about 60 years ago. अब ज़माना वो रहा ही नहीं है. It's not the same. It's completely changed. like the education uh, there was this documentary on educational paradigms so they showed us ke how our educational systems are still although they're evolving now but they are still based on the mindset of an industrialist time period where the world war had affected people and they needed to be more in an industrial manner and now your curriculum should change quite a lot because ab wo sang times nahi hai ab they have like technology and those kid advancements have made things so far the perspective ke hame bahut si exactly the word you used unlearn karne ki zarurat hai cheeze like how society has grown and developed and become on a broader perspective wo cheeze like and the issues of today's world are quite different from of that era but yahi baat hai na ke hum unko we sweep them under the rug सेम वे एज वी थ्रो वे द ट्रैश तो मैं माई एम वॉज नॉट टू एक्चुअली स्ट्राइक अ स्पेसिफिक यॉनरा लाइक कंज्यूमरिज्म और मार्केटिंग और यू नो पोलिटिकल और एनीथिंग माई वर्क वॉज टू क्वेश्चन द वर्ड थिंक लाइक आर यू एक्चुअली गोइंग टू थिंक लाइक ये है छोटी बात है उस पर क्या आर यू गोइंग टू गिव इट वैल्यू ठीक है एग्जाम्पल ट्रैश I think when someone's like intentionally trying to be political that's when things get annoying hmm. but when you're just raising a basic human issue hmm. and there are various political and lay like, and socio political aspects that um are weighed in I think that's a far more productive discussion because you realize the political aspect I, exactly but I want people to do that now I am an artist so not a politician yeah. or a person or, or a journalist who's actually studied into those details ha news dekh leta hu pata wo alag hai but I would rather want people to have like a conversation that's my that is exactly what I want if I have it like my own exhibition so I would want people to you know converse with me about things educate me while I educate you I need like a two way thing that's how we grow as human beings and I feel like that's one of the biggest factors why we're more willing to um accept an artist as an influencer because they're not trying to influence you they're mm. just like this is me doing my own thing and if you're going to Oh learn we try <laughs> that that's what I'm going to say we try actually cuz but uh, like once you are working on a specific thing it gets quite difficult to stay away from you know touchy uh, subjects where people could be offended even if you don't want them to be but ye hai ke like i mean that is the struggle that we have to go through but yes that is exact i think uh, in the essence all artists are actually trying to just talk about some particular thing that they feel affected or feel like they need to have people understand it that's what every artist is doing and i commend that highly like abhi there's so many hamare yahan ke successful pakistani artists who are well renowned abroad on the basis ke they have struck conversations that were never talked about before and woh cheez hai ke this in this growing uh, era hamari country how it's developing now i believe that this is very crucial more and more people need to you know be aware self aware and aware of their surroundings and talk about such things and not think of them as taboo and keep it that way um other than that i'm still concentrating on my work my work was kindly directed into labels ki categories so a label is the new thing that i've taken and is pay i'm using mannequin heads like i'm making a one inch ke raisin mannequin heads and showing people in different ke we're all alike but we get different and wo wali cheez ko 
ब्रिंग अबाउट लाइक हाउ आजकल बहुत से इस तरह के टॉपिक्स हैं जो जेंडर बेस्ड और सोसाइटी बेस्ड और एज बेस्ड यू नो आ रहे हैं लाइक के लाइक बेबी बूमर्स एंड जनरेशन जी यू नो ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ दैट एंड मैं उस चीज़ को ना एक लेमिनेट करना भी चाह रहा हूँ कि हम लोग बहुत ज़्यादा एक डिफरेंसेस देखने में भी बहुत ज़्यादा इन्वॉल्व होना शुरू हो गया सो माई न्यू वर्क इज इज अबाउट दैट एंड आई एम स्टिल वर्किंग ऑन इट्स डेट सी वेट कोर्स थैंक यू सो मच दिस वॉज सुपर इन लाइटनिंग थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी नहीं आई रियली want to do this again <laughs> so definitely and thank you so much to all you guys for tuning in again um your feedback is valuable so please uh whatever you have to say drop it in the comments and don't forget to share like and subscribe